It's 10.53 a.m. and this is my first bite of food. I'm having a banana because right now I'm decided I'm starving. Um, and I had that much of a cup of coffee. And I'm getting ready to put makeup on. And I just did my hair. So I'll be back. Bye! It is 2.05 p.m. And um, we had to go out to the post office and drop something off there and some FedEx from UPS or Fed Up or wherever we were. Um, and I had eaten a turkey sandwich at home and didn't show you because Rob and I were in the middle of talking about something. And I couldn't wait, so I just ate it. <laughs> so I had, um, actually it was chicken. Oscar Mayer chicken breast lunch meat for one point, a piece of cheese for two points, two pieces of bread for two points, and mustard. And that's what I've eaten besides the banana -na 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 that you saw. And now I'm having that red mango. Mango. And I've got strawberry cheesecake, no, raspberry cheesecake flavor in the bottom. And I have some dark chocolate flavor on the top. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. And I have about a teaspoon of chocolate fudge sauce. It's not fudge, it's just chocolate syrup. And then about a tablespoon of graham cracker crumbs. And then in the middle is fruit. Um, fruit, fruit, fruit. And now we're headed home. Rob has a bucket and a half. Let's see that bucket. Look at that bucket. Yeah, I got, uh... He has little mango jelly things. I don't know what they are. They're little... They look like little fish embryos. They're really cool. They're like little eggs filled with mango juice. Uh, and, uh, pieces of mango. And... Yeah, this is my sushi roll. With mango, mango sushi roll and mango, you know, fish roll. It's really gross. Anyway, that's what we're doing. And now we're headed back home. It's 82 degrees. It's really nice out today. My hair is driving me nuts. Um, yeah. Oh, and for all of you hair people out there, because I know three of you that are on my ouch YouTube are hair people. My hair is driving me out of my mind. I don't want it short. Like to me, like, to my chin here is too short. It's just yuck. Um, but this long, flat, straight, boring, do-nothing hair is also not working for me. And I have poker straight hair that has a bunch of fuzzies in it now that I'm older because, you know, that's like some kind of joke or trick or something. I don't know. <clears throat> so if anybody has any suggestions about a hairdo that would be mid-length, with some volume and some something going on that doesn't consist of me standing in the mirror curling my hair for an hour every day, I'd really appreciate it. And I don't want a haircut like that. <laughs> yeah. All right, go and eat my ice cream now. Bye. Bye, guys. I'm on my way to pick up uh, child number Uno from work. No, school. I'm eating this Special K, it's probably upside down, you get the point. <laughs> 90 calorie vanilla crisp bar. In case you've never tried them, they look like this. And this is a half of one because I already ate it. And that's about it. Fairly uneventful day today, so far. Um, yeah. Kids went to school this morning. Liz went to work. Brianna and Rob had to go into work for a little while. He came back. We did the red mango thing after he had shipped his thing out from UPS for work and all that stuff. And now Rob and Liz are getting ready to go to church. Rob is leading worship. Liz just just tagging along to go to church. Brianna has got cheerleading practice this evening, and then she wants to go shopping for her friend for her birthday. And I'm going to be sitting home, me and Antoine, and doing what we do. Eating dinner, getting him ready for bed, getting his stuff ready for school tomorrow. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> um... Nothing exciting for dinner. I don't even know what we're going to eat. Probably just munch here and there. Um, I will. I mean, I'll fix Antoine dinner. But nobody else will be home, so 
They don't need to fix some big fancy pants meal for me and him. <laughs> Did I grab up my shirt? And I think that's it. My mom just asked me if I wanted to go to Michigan weather in, uh, really? You're, you're really going to cut me off. Wow. The, trans the public transportation bus just cut me off, like completely, almost ran me over. Anyway, asked if I wanted to go to Michigan weather in October, um, but I can't do that because I we can't afford a plane ticket. It would be really expensive. And I can't leave everybody here to do everything that I do. They just had to do everything for me when I had surgery for three weeks, three and a half weeks. They did everything. So, I'm going around you, Mr. Public Transportation cutter offer person. <laughs> um, anyway, I would really like to. It's the, the reason being, all of my mom's family lives there. Um, so all my aunts, uncles, cousins, pretty much everybody lives there. Um, a few people live in Ohio, a few people live in Tennessee, a couple in Virginia, but for the most part, the major bulk of my mom's family lives there. Plus, I have a lot of friends there from growing up there, like the last, let's see, when I was ninth grade? Yeah. We moved to Michigan when I started ninth grade. So I lived there until I graduated high school and then off and on a few times after that. So, anywho's, it would be nice to go visit, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it right now. But she's concerned about a few of our family members maybe not living much longer because they're getting older and they're sick and things like that. And I would really like to be able to see those people, but I don't know how that's going to work out. And my cousin, Gordy, I don't know how many of you know this because I think I was updating more on Facebook than I was here. Um, but I will explain it. My cousin Gordy... There's a kid sitting in front of me who's going to stare at me for talking, but I don't really care. Um, my cousin Gordy is just turned 50 years old a few weeks ago. I'm going to eat this, but I don't want to munch in your face. I'm just going to put it down. <laughs> so I keep like starting to take a bite and flinging it over. Just turned 50 a few months ago. Weeks ago. Just kidding. His eldest daughter just got married uh, two and a half, three weeks ago three weeks ago. His youngest daughter just went away to college that same week that his other daughter got married. Ow. Sorry. And then he had brain surgery. Um, he had previously been being treated for seven weeks for a sinus infection by his highly intelligent doctor, um, who didn't check anything about his brain or anything. Just was treating him for seven weeks for a sinus infection. So, come to find out he had a tumor, a brain tumor. Um, they did surgery, removed it, said they got it all. Four days, three days later, they released him from the hospital. Sent him all the way back home, which was hours and hours and hours away because he had to go to a certain place to have this surgery done. Anyway, a different state. Sent him all the way back home. His wife drove him all the way back home. The next day, he had a brain bleed. And it clotted. And he lost all functionality of his limbs. He couldn't... He didn't know who he was, where he was at. Nothing. Totally incoherent. Um... And so she rushed him to the emergency room in the small town where they live. They rushed him by helicopter to another hospital, a larger hospital, a couple hours away from where they live. He had another surgery, removed the clot, went in the, stayed in the hospital for almost another week, and then went home. They, in the meantime, all of that, they tested what they had removed, the, the tumor, and just found out a couple of days ago that he is has stage four brain cancer. Sorry. <laughs> I've talked about this before. I didn't think I was going to cry about it. <laughs> anyway, they're going to start uh, radiation treatments. And 
really sorry. <laughs> Whoa, I had no idea I was going to cry. Okay. <sighs> Radiation treatments, and they're going to have to give him a chemotherapy pill. I don't know what that is. I didn't know they could do chemotherapy in a pill form now. So, he went to the oncologist today to find out when they're going to start the radiation and the chemo pill and all that mess. So, said all that to say, he is another person that I really would like to see. I'm not saying he's going to die. I'm just saying that with stage 4 brain cancer, it is likely. I mean, you know, God can do anything. He's a miracle worker. He can completely saved his life both times that he was in the hospital. He almost died on the table the second time. The doctor came out and told his wife and mother and family, you should call the family because he's probably not going to make it off the table. So, I'm not saying he's going to die by any means. It, that's completely up to God. Um, and we're all praying for God's will to happen, no matter what that is. I'm just saying that we don't know God's will always. And it may be that it is his time to go soon. So, if in the event it is, I would like to see him before he goes. <laughs> and I'm going to stop talking about that because I can't stop crying. Anyway, so that's what's going on there. And uh, that's pretty much sums up the day. And I've been talking for eight minutes and something seconds. So I'm going to shut up now. And I will come back with dinner, snacks, wrap up, and what other, every other weird thing I can stick in there. <laughs> to make these videos a little less boring for everyone. All right, I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll talk to you soon, bye. It's uh, 7.25 p.m. and here's my boring, blah, weird dinner. <laughs> this is actually part two of my dinner. Sorry, I didn't give you part one. I was sitting here looking at a video and forgot to do it. I ate a portion of um, frosted mini wheats. Just I just ate them with no sugar. I mean, not no sugar, with no milk. And now I'm having this, which is a pepperoni pizza lean pocket with uh, garlic crust, and it's seven points. So that's going to be my dinner. I don't know if I'll eat anything else or not. I'm watching the church service. I'm getting ready to lay Antoine down for the night. And that's what I'm doing, so I'll be back. Now it's 7.47, and I'm eating fruit because I've had, like, zero vegetables today. I don't know what my problem is. But I have a problem. <laughs> I just, uh, yeah. Um, I'll turn you around. I haven't been very hungry today. Bottom line. And when I did eat, I was getting like weird little sharp pains in my stomach. Not double you over, but sharp like sit there and have to like concentrate until I got over them. So, I've eaten little to nothing. I still have 16 points right now stupid. But I ate a banana, which was one fruit, vegetable, whatever. And that's all I've had for that. So now I'm having this. So I'll have at least three servings of vegetables and fruits today. Um, so what it is, is a half a cup of grapes, maybe a little more, and then about two cups of pear, and it was a red pear. Um, and note to self, never cut up a pear and put it on a paper plate. Yeah. It slid all over the place and I had to pick it up like three times. So I'm sitting here watching, I'll show you, our church services live stream. That's Pastor Mike. He's one of our assisting pastors. And, um, oh, and doing this, looking at last month's Weight Watchers magazine, trying to find some recipes. And drinking tea <laughs> and eating fruit and sitting here. Um, everyone's still gone except for me and Antoine and Antoine is now in bed. So I think I'll wait. I was going to say this is it, but I'll wait just in case because it's still only 10 to 8 and you know, a lot can happen between now and bed. <laughs> a lot of food can happen. So, um, yeah, I'll just come back and let you know what I've done or not done before I go to sleep. All right, good night. I mean, see you in a minute. I'm listening to my husband singing. They'll flash back to it in a second. Those are people praying. He's singing the end song. There he is. He knows my name. 
Larry. He knows my every thought And he sees each tear that falls And he hears me when I call I like this song. <laughs> he knows your name Salvation comes through Sorry. Christ. It's by His name that we are saved. Not, not that the, the writing out of Jesus is going to save you, but trusting in what He has done and, and believing there we in go. your heart that He has It's 8.30. I'm not really feeling hungry, but I'm feeling snacky. So, if anything, I'm just going to eat some popcorn, but I'm not sure I'm going to eat that. So, I have 16 points right now. Want to know Christ as Savior. Excuse me. Um, I welcome you to, to pray with me. Yeah, I don't know. I might need it, I might not. But anyway, either way, I have plans. So I guess I will talk to you guys tomorrow. This is, uh, I don't know if I've said it at all today or not, but this is Thursday. I believe um, The 8th, the 9th, the 8th of September, 2011. And, sorry, it was a boring day. And I'm not sure tomorrow will be any more exciting, but I'll try. <laughs> All right, you guys have a good night, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.